Recording your console games with an iPad has never been easier. Well today, I'm going to show you how to seamlessly set up your iPad with the brand new Elgato Capture app. Let's dive in. What's going on you wonderful people? I'm Brandon and welcome to Creighton TV. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Elgato Capture with an iPad, showing you a two-step method. One with the Elgato 4KX Capture Card and the chat link cable, and also be showcasing the Elgato Game Catcher Neo Capture Card. So let's hop into the video. All right, before we get started, there's a few things that you're going to need to use the Elgato Capture with your iPad. This is the 2024 M4 uh, iPad Pro 11 inch, or you can use your 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch. Any iPad, just make sure you get your iPad. You're also going to use in this video Elgato Game Capture Neo, the Elgato 4KX Capture Card, Elgato Chat Link Pro Cable, and also getting showcasing a dongle. So I'll leave this in the description for all the stuff that's used in the video. Be linked down in the description box down below, little affiliation links. But let's get started right here. So let me show you the setup process of how to set up. Uh, first, we'll start off with the Elgato 4KX Capture Card on the iPad, also being able to use the chat link cable. And then from there, we'll switch over, adding the dongle in and using it with the Game Capture Neo. Okay. So the setup process is really simple if you want to use the Elgato 4KX capture card. So it's really simple. So same way that you plug it in with the console and everything else, you want to take your console's HDMI port and plug that into the HDMI in port section. You see right here. So plug that into the HDMI in and you want to then you're going to take your USB-C. You're going to plug that into your iPad. The other port for your monitor is going to go from uh, your monitor to your HDMI out port right there. So show you how that is. So one for my console will go to HDMI in. So that's the HDMI in one to my monitor like this. And then my, I'm going to be using the, the Godspin USB-C cable. Link will also be in the description for the iPad. You want to make sure that you plug that in. So this is your setup that you should have. Join it just like that. And then I'm taking the USB-C. So I'm going to push this back and plug that into the iPad's USB-C port. And it should connect like how it is right now. And it's showing. It says 4K audio. I turn on my PlayStation. You also want to make sure that you disable in your console settings the HDCP. You want to go over to your settings. Go down to system, go down to HDMI and make sure that HDCP is disabled. If you don't do that, it will not work. So there it goes right there. You see the PlayStation coming up. I am inside my PlayStation. It is showcasing on the monitor itself. So it's showcasing on both. And you can see that the audio levels are coming in also. You do hear sound. So if you're using the 4KX capture card, HD60X capture card, HD60X plus capture card, for, uh, HD60 capture card, or whatever, you can use the Elgato chat link cable to talk to your party chat. Just one slight description with that sometimes the audio doesn't come through oh wait i have the same skin you have you hear party chat comes through but my audio wasn't and i'll show you right now so let me show you the, the ipad layout itself the elgato capture but you can use the chat link cable to record your gameplays and your party will come through but i'm still working on how to figure out to get your party and your audio to come through at the same time because right now on the app it only showcases the party chat's audio coming through and then your audio becomes mute as you hear my audio was muted in this party chat but my friend's audio came through so i'm still trying to figure out a solution oh, for no. this there are certain rewards I can't get. So I don't know if that's a bug or a glitch in their system. Once I find an update, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Just going over the iPad itself. Let me show you where everything is. So you got your video. I'm in 4K Ultra HD. I can change the formats, but we'll leave it 4K 60. Now you cannot stream with the Elgato Capture app, but you can record high quality gameplays. Push this right here for your audio. You can use the iPad microphone or none right now. And then it says only the audio input of the most recent connected devices will be available for this section then it'll switch over to that you can also pass it through on your speakers but if you do this you will get echo you got your recordings where you can set up your recordings to either go to your photos or to an external hard drive if you want to have it set up there you got your record button screen capture for taking pictures is letting you know it's in 60 fps and the audio levels are coming in you can make it full screen if you want to you know full screen layout you got your settings over here if you wanted to record you just tap record and you can set it in full screen you can see 
if you said in full screen, there is a dot that's right here. If you take it out of full, full screen, it lets you know it brings a border around. You can't put no other face cams. Now I'm going to showcase the Elgato Game Capture Neo capture card. Now this capture card here, quite strange. Why? If you check it out, there's no audio jack. So all the audio comes through on HDMI. This is one that I know people normally have problems with because they can't get their party chat to come through. So the setup process is still the same. So I'm still going to use the same Godspin USB-C cable. Link will be down in the description. The only difference with the, this capture card versus the 4KX capture card is plug-in. So if you look at it, the ports for the HDMI slots are reverse. You don't need the monitor. So I'm just going to show you just with the HDMI in only. So you'll see now that is detected. You see the light come on on the Game Capture Neo. So now I'm using it with no monitor, strictly just iPad only. PlayStation is still on. There you go. PlayStation is still on, as you can see on both. Now you're probably wondering, why did I use the dongle over here instead of just using, you know, the regular setup? Well, unfortunately, because when you can plug in a microphone and be able to record your audio over your gameplays, still same same video layout. So the video layout now did switch to uh, Elgato Game Capture Neo. And now it lets you know we got 1080p, 64 HD. The input right now is coming out through the Neo or I can pass it through the speakers. I would advise you just to turn that off because it does get the echo. So the Elgato Capture iPad. What do you think about it? Pretty awesome, right? Do you think it's pretty good? Will you be using it? I think I'll be using it every now and then. Just I'm still working on trying to figure out the party chat issue with a uh, chat link cable on the Elgato 4KX. And I'm also trying to figure out a way to how to get party chat to work well with the uh, Game Capture Neo. Because that capture card there doesn't have audio jack and all the audio is processed through HDMI. So I do know people do struggle with that, but stay tuned for an upcoming video on that. Once I figure out a solution, I'll be sure to let you know. Also how to use that capture card with Streamlabs or OBS on a Mac. Use Elgato Capture. It does work on tons of iPads. I'll put the list up right here if you want to see it again. Just only thing that doesn't work on is Lightning Connector iPads. You need an USB-C iPad to get it to work. The Elgato Capture right now is only for iPad. Hopefully in the future they you know make some more improvements to this Elgato Capture app. See what else they can do. If you don't want to use, you know, have no party chat and that doesn't really bother you at all, then just use it as recording your gameplays, create high Highlight, highlighting moments. You can use it with the microphone, be able to talk over your games, be able to analyze what you were doing wrong or just showcase and you know, create highlights. No, this video here is not being sponsored at all. If you're a little bit more advanced method and you want to use streaming on your iPad, I do have an app for you to check out. It is called Camel Studio. So you can, if you want to check out that video and how to do the advanced method to stream with your iPad, record gameplays, add face cam overlays, much more than what else. Elgato Game Capture can do, can do. And what you want to do is check out Midnight Man's video right here. Watch that video. He goes into full detail of how to use Camel Studio for your iPad. So check out that video over there. At me in the comment section if you have any questions. Leave a comment on this video. Subscribe if you are new. Other than that, thanks for watching and God bless. Peace. Whew. Whew. Why did the video take so long to do?